Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Way Out Workshop. I'm doing some plowing on the uh, with the Case 580M Super M backhoe. Uh, not really the best thing for clearing snow, but a little more capable than the little coyote tractor, that's for sure. And a lot of that could be due to my experience level. So this is the third or fourth time I've actually driven the backhoe. Um, I don't know if you can see that hill there, but that's one of the hard parts to uh, get to. The driveway's quite long. And it's hard videotaping and controlling everything at the same time, but I'll do my best for you. I always forget to, uh, I, I hit the disengage uh, button and I let it, I release it too early with the throttle still pressed down, it causes some problems, it makes me surge forward. And try taking this little bit up the hill. I hope I can make it. Okay, well at least I have the drive-in done. And I got another couple of kilometers of uh, roads just on the property uh, to clear, but of course they aren't as important at the moment. with the backhoe is it's really uh, sways around a lot um, that backhoe attachment on the back adds a lot of weight and it makes it very unstable so you can you can probably feel it rocking back and forth so I lo lose contact with what I'm trying to do and sometimes um, you, you can't steer because, uh, it's just taking too much weight off the front end. Um, unfortunately, I can't use the float function on this 
uh, like it works. It works really well on the Coyote tractor. I don't get myself into too many uh, tight spots with it. But with this thing, it's almost impossible to use. It takes it takes way too much weight off the front end, and then you have zero control. So that's not good when you're driving a machine that's you know this heavy. You can see the weight come off the off the front tires there. So you can't go can't get too aggressive. I'm slowly getting the hang of it though. Not the easiest thing in the world, but Hey, a piece of equipment is a piece of equipment. I like the, uh, certainly like the heated cab. That's a benefit, although most of the time I got it off because it gets too hot. Just gonna make a couple clearing passes here. I'm going to head up to the house and make something to eat. Still good. Oh, you can't see any smoke there, but maybe you can see the heat lines coming up. Looks like the temperature's right around 152, I think that says over there. So we're good for a couple more hours anyway. gather sand from I don't know if you can see it over along that bank there but there's actually a fox den in there she comes out to say hello every once in a while but not that often mostly I just see evidence of her running around the road road home we go through the wood lot about a kilometer of road it's a beautiful day 
we got a pile of snow and uh, it was still this, uh, snowing this morning when I woke up but it, a couple hours ago it started breaking up and clearing it's starting to get a little bit of sun poking through the clouds that's kind of nice I mean that was basically three days of three days of weather that we had where we received quite a bit of snow so I really wish I had a, a snow pusher for this as opposed to the bucket but it is what it is my dump off area actually a bit of water in there, kind of a pond. Oh hey, I finally broke that branch. Cool. I've been trying to break that for a while now. See my surge forward, that's because I let go of the override button before I uh, stop pressing on the gas. So basically, you press that red button on the uh, the joystick there, and it disengages the drive, so you can rev up the machine and um, get the bucket moving a little more efficiently, a little faster. And I'm learning all this on the go. I've got the manual with me most of the time. So I can check to see what I'm doing or if I'm doing it correctly so this is really hard in through here because it's not level it kind of pitches off well here it's pitching off to the right up a little further it'll pitch off to the left and uh, can really cause the backhoe to slide around a, a lot so it's important to uh, keep your eye on that and not take too much weight off the front tires. You need those front tires, four wheel drive, so you need those front tires to steer. Another spot where I drop off snow. drive forward, it disengages it. I'll take my foot off, there we go, that's better. It's a process, that's for sure, I'm learning. I mean, it's a little bit intimidating to get into this stuff, but uh, You know, luckily we have YouTube and we can watch videos of others doing it before we take the chance and, uh, and learn from them. I'm just not, I'm not doing too much here. I'm, I want to get home and have something to eat. can see this is a this is a rough spot to get through because it slopes off to the left there and it once you get the uh, once you get the backhoe swaying it wants to go in the direction that it's swaying not the direction necessarily that it's pointed so you got to be careful of that I think I'm doing pretty good for 
someone with absolutely zero experience on a backhoe. I mean, it's a tool. It, it, it does most of the work for you. And if you think of it in that way, I think it makes it easier. So... This section up here is actually the back driveway to the property so you can get to the main house from the road here and you don't have to go up that big hill um, on the main driveway. So I like to keep it cleared also. If there is some sort of an emergency where we need to uh, where we need to bring in some emergency equipment or personnel, then uh, it's always good to have an option. This property is 276 acres. Um, not mine, <laughs> unfortunately. I kind of wish it was. But uh, it is what it is. Anyway, folks, I'm going to shut her down now. I've made it back to the way of workshop. And uh, I'm going to go see how Roxy's doing. She doesn't like to drive in this thing. I think it's too loud for her. And she thinks it's growling at her or something. Anyway, I'll let you go for now. And uh, have a great day. Please like and subscribe. It don't cost you a thing, but it helps us out a lot. So, please do. Bye now.